hello everyone in this video i'm going to be showing you how to migrate your website from bluehost to another hosting uh, platform i will be using Osinga as an example but of course if you want to migrate to another platform it follows another uh, uh it follows the same procedure i'll be using Osinga and migrating to Osinga from bluehost i will also migrate my domain name as well i will transfer it from bluehost to Osinga and if you follow me you will also get the same result i did not skip any step so let's just dive into the video so here i am at Ostinga, and then i have to pick a package that i want of course i'm sure it will be easy for you to pick whichever package you want and then i pick this 24 month which is a simple plan and then i put my atm details and then after making the payment it brought me here and then i said i have a website before i want to migrate my website and thank god Osenga has a, an automatic migration and so i click on transfer website and then i'm going to put my i want to use wordpress login put my uh my domain my domain name which is uh whichever one i put my account username and password and then i click next and then the website will be transferred and then it says my website has been successfully transferred to Osenga. And I can check it out through, uh, it's provided a preview domain for me that I can use to check it out. It's quite easy. Just transfer your domain name, put your WordPress username and your WordPress password, and then it will transfer. And then you get this email. And then if you click on this subdomain, you will use it to check if everything is okay before you know if everything is okay you don't need to do anything it will still be transferred but if everything is not okay you can cost, uh, contact the customer care this is just a preview and so this is my website and then i'm checking if everything is just the way it's supposed to be so it's actually the way it's supposed to be so i will just or uh, the domain is correct i just come back now i want to go to bluehost and then because i've transferred it i want to uh, change the dns of uh, my website in bluehost I want to point it to Ostinger. I need to point uh, the DNS. So I come to domain, I come to manage, and then it's loading as well. So after it's loading, I will be able to uh, change the DNS. So I come to DNS over here, DNS under domain, and they click on edit. It's, it's on Bluehost before. I put custom now. So that means I want to change it. So I now put Ostinger DNS, which is this, and then I click on save. So it's saving currently. So for example, me, I want to also transfer my, my domain name. If you want to transfer the domain name, you have to do this as well. But if you don't want to transfer, don't do this, which is uh, lock. You see this lock? I want to unlock my domain name. So that is what I want to do now. I go to security because i will transfer my domain afterwards so i want to also trans i want to unlock my domain so transfer lock as i've unlocked it right now so if i click on it again it will be locked so if it's unlocked i can transfer it so if i click on more details you'll be able to see what happens when transfer lock is sent to unlock domains are locked by default to prevent unauthorized transfers certain transfer to unlock allows you to allows your domain to be transferred to a new register what happens if I transfer my domain to another registrar? You can just read that up. So if I don't want to transfer my domain, I will just put it on lock. But if I want to transfer, I will have to unlock it. And if I come down, I will be able to see a key, which is a password that I will use. So I don't want to show you the key. So I come back to my single web hosting here. I click on uh, manage. And then I'm in my uh, dashboard here at Ostinger because I've transferred my domain i've you know i've been I've successfully successfully transferred it i have the dns so if i click on edit website now i will be able to see uh my dashboard as well my wordpress dashboard and then i'll be able to edit my website do it do whatever it is that i want on my website because i've already purchased the package which is a single web host and then i've already successfully transferred my website to osenga so this is it so this is my wordpress dashboard so at this is just a elemental glitch because of because of transfer you don't need to worry about that if you are not using elemental and if you are using it just may not be like this so i will just i can just uh come back here and then i click on domain i want to transfer my domain right now so what is which domain do i want to transfer i put my domain the domain that i want to transfer i put it here and then i click on i click on transfer so 
it's loading so it's going to ask me some question as well to finalize it so i will have to pay you know choose payment method and that's why i like osenga you can actually pay with cryptocurrency so i want to pay with cryptocurrency now you know other than the one that i used before which was my atm so uh it's loading for me i will actually pay through coin gate so i select bitcoin and then i click continue so you have to use email make sure you use an email and then click continue the email is for you know reference purpose in case there's a mistake you'll be able to talk to each other so i'm transferring this amount of btc and then this is the address i'm transferring it to and then i will go to my binance uh, account and then transfer it after it's successfully transferred then i will have to wait here for confirmation but make sure that you actually add the the charges there is actually a charges the uh, some charges so make sure you calculate everything and then you add it together because if your payment is not complete you it will not be confirmed they will just have to refund you or you know maybe make another transfer which will actually accrue charges so i've done it it's successful so i can continue to dashboard here so this is uh my dashboard domain transfer is a pending setup it's pending setup so i have to set it up so i click on setup i have to put my country i put south africa i put my name whichever city you are put your address zip code and and everything that you want to put phone number and then you click next setup you necessarily have to put this so next next step so and then you have to put the epp code i talked about the epp code earlier so it's actually sent to my email if i go down i'll be able to see it the epp request so this is my own epp code and then i copy it so immediately you unlock your domain name over there as we did before you will be able to get the epp code and you can tell them to send it to your email which is what i did that's why i have it in my email and then i put it here and then uh i select the option that's in the middle and i click transfer domain so domain transfer started so it's loading so it says you are almost there your domain will take up to five to seven business days to complete you can check the process in your domain list so i can just click continue so it takes like five to seven business day but i don't want five to seven business days i want to fast track the process you know what i have here is transferring so i want to fast track the process and of course i will get uh i will get a notification in my email that there's actually an impending transfer and if i go to my email i'll be able to i can up so if i let me go to my email now and see what i mean so this is uh from bluehost that there is actually an impending transfer bluehost received the request on so 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 date to another domain register which is what i just initiated through ostenga and i actually have it on bluehost before so bluehost sent me a message that okay if i want to do if i want to fast track it i can just click on the link below but if i do if i do not want to fast track it i can just leave it and within five to seven business days it will it will automatically be transferred but if i want to fast track it i can then click on this link and then i click on the link and then i will be able to approve the transfer from this place and then the transfer will be done without any hitch i won't have to wait for five to seven business working days anymore and then this will be much more faster so that's what i want to do so uh it's the capture is loading right now so now this is where we have to approve the transfer so it's still, it's still loading let me just click on get started get started and then it's loading over there and then uh i come down i select i was have to select my 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 domain and selecting it i get some options so yeah these are some the options that i have the details when it's going to expire and everything the newer options and if i click on transfer epp I'll be able to see or uh, I'll be able to click to approve the transfer and then I can reject the transfer. So if I click on reject, it will automatically be rejected. But if I click on click here to approve the transfer, it will transfer the domain, which is what I want to do. 
so i'll just have to come here and click the transfer so it will be transferred from bluehost to a different register so i click here to approve the transfer so domain tra transfer was successfully approved so it's successfully approved so that means i've made the transfer i would not have to you know wait for seven or five business days so this is a cutting notice that the domain light speed is no longer registered to bluehost and it is not configured to use our web hosting services so the domain has been transferred to another registrar if you wish to have it registered with us again you need to manually request to transfer it back please contact us mistake made account management hosting account login and all other things if you were if it's a mistake but of course this is not a mistake i initiated it so i go back to my inbox and that is how so if i come back to this place right now all this information that i have before i wouldn't have it again if i refresh this page so if i click on transfer epp right now it says not owner that is because it's not registered with blue host anymore if i you know that's what that means and if i go up and refresh i will not see some of those options anymore because it has been transferred from bluehost to another register you see i only have light speed i only have three options i i like I, I only have three options so i'm back in my uh dashboard so that is everything that you need to know i've transferred the domain from bluehost to hosting uh, so you have it here it say it's still saying uh pending transfer but of course it's going to finalize the transfer so i've successfully transferred my website my host from bluehost to hostinga and i've also transferred my domain name from bluehost to hostinga and that's all i want to share with you in this video i hope you enjoyed the video kindly like this video kindly subscribe to this channel and hopefully see you in subsequent videos this is entrepreneur hub where i share with you everything an entrepreneur needs to know skills development like website design such as this digital ma digital marketing and every other thing that every entrepreneur needs to know hopefully see you in subsequent videos thank you